Welcome back to our 13 day Halloween countdown. Today is day 11. We are getting really close to the end and we've got a few more fun files left to go. If you've missed any of them and you want to grab those just as a quick access or because of this countdown, so just the 13 files, you can grab that link below. Once this countdown's over, then all these will be added to my huge Halloween bundle and you can grab it in that bundle, which is discounted for now, but will be regular price as soon as the countdown is done. Okay, so today we are working on a bat lollipop holder and it's gonna be really similar to our cauldron. It's gonna be super quick, super easy so that you can mass produce if you need to for treats and um, it doesn't take a lot of supplies, doesn't take a lot of gluing, Hopefully it's something you can uh, involve the kids in and they can help you put together as well. And you can hand them out for classroom treats or hand them out at the door or take them to work. Whatever it is you want to do with those. So let's go ahead and get busy prepping that and then put it together. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to upload image, like always, and find my project. just this cute little bat. It's one single file. You want to grab the SVG and click upload. And then I'm going to select him and add him to my canvas. And for prep, the only thing we have to do is find our score lines and turn those to score so that they don't actually cut him across his little lollipop holder. And then attach that to the base. So, um, if it's current, yeah, it's currently grouped. If you group it while it's all still attached or grouped to, sorry, let me restart that. If you attach it while it's all still in a group, it's going to turn everything into the same color and then you're not going to know what you need to cut where. So you want to ungroup this first before you do any attaching. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup it like I just did, find my score lines and my lollipop holder base and attach. And now it is ready to cut. So I'm going to send it to the machine and I will meet you back here to put it together. All right, we are ready to put our bat lollipop holder together. Got the lollipop ready. Um, had to start over thanks to a train. Good news was I didn't actually get anything glued down. So I'm going to sort out wings for each side. Not sure why I have an extra. I struggled with some of the printing, so I think this is actually not a wing. I don't know. That's just weird. Okay. And then we got some ears. I think this was a space in between two. <laughs> it just looked like a wing. Okay. Um, then we got the wing. Yeah, because the overlays go like that. So we got all of our pieces, we've got all of our ears, one for each side, should have all of our eyeballs, um, hopefully, I'm going to line these up just so I don't accidentally grab them wrong as we go, and there should be, oh I was going to cut purple pieces for behind his eyes because I cut them out of glitter and I didn't think I wanted that thickness on there. I might still use them. I've got them stashed. Okay, so first things first, fold along your score lines just so that they're there and ready to go and easy to fold once you get the lollipop in there. And then just open it up. And we are going to glue on his little head. Um, fat part of the chin down. And I'm going to line mine up like this and flip it over so that I know I'm getting his little head lined up properly. That way when you seal it up around the lollipop, you know that these two sides are going to line up the way they're supposed to. And then we're going to glue the insides of the ears in and kind of match that curve in there with a little bit of space left over for you to glue the ear to its head without having to glue. Like, I use the glitter paper so it's a little thicker. I don't want to glue on top of that glitter paper for his ears just because it's going to add too much chunk. 
If you used regular paper, it's not a big deal. You can go a little bit lower if you want to tuck that little inside of his ear behind his head. I'm going to place mine a little bit further up. There we go. I feel like even though there's glitter stuck in the paper, I still managed to get glitter all over everything. Okay. So now we're going to actually flip these over. Well, you could hold it this way, I guess, and glue it this way first. And then we'll just line up the back one as we go. Let's do the top first, and then we'll line up the back. It's easier. So a little ear on each side. And then you can just flip him over and then put glue on this one and match that ear line up. So I'm just going to hold it on this one and then close up my lollipop holder so that they line up. Okay, and then a little bit of glue on this one and do the same. And then we're going to do the same thing with the wings. Just so, oops, that one didn't stay stuck at all. Just so that, um, it's that glitter cardstock getting in my way. When it's closed, it, it doesn't look wonky with a different shape on the other side that's sticking out. Press those. So then he just basically matches himself front and back. Feels like a little bit of glue snuck out of there. Okay? It's not going to be perfect because the, the, the ball of the lollipop is going to kind of offset things a little too, but you want it as close as possible. And then when you seal it up the first time, you can put like a little piece of foam, like a foam dot or something in there to hold it closed, and that'll keep it lined up at least for the first presentation. And then whatever they do with it after that is up to them. Okay, so I'm going to glue these wing pieces over my purple. If you used glitter cardstock, you're going to probably want it to sit for a little bit. This would be a fun time to try the whole glitter um, heat transfer vinyl on cardstock too. I just didn't get around to it. I, can't, I gave my press to my daughter and I need to dig out the iron so that I could try it. I didn't want to mess with the settings and everything though, so I have a little bit of this cardstock left. I just used up the last of it. So when I want purple glitters next time, I'm going to have to break out the heat transfer. It's going to happen. I will video it and show you whether it works or doesn't work. We'll use it as an experiment. I just got glue all over. It's one way to keep the glitter contained. Glue it down again. When I first started scrapbooking, they had a glue that was called PVA, and it was, that's just what they called it, PVA glue, and um, V as in velvet, and it was the type of glue that, it wasn't very wet, it was like, the, it was a lot like the Verily Arts, but when you stuck your two pieces of paper together, you better be sure about where you wanted that paper and that you were sticking it the right way, because it sunk into the fibers super quick. And was super strong and it just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It just, the way it absorbed into the fiber super fast, you didn't slide things to make sure you had them in the right position. You didn't reposition, you didn't pick it up, nothing. It would already be like tearing the fibers of your paper. It was really, really good glue. And it was heat sensitive, unfortunately. So if you had it shipped in the winter, sometimes it would ruin it if it sat out on your porch too long. But it was the best glue ever and I can't find it anywhere anymore. I don't think they make it. I miss that glue. Okay, I'm going to make him a little um, cross-eyed and, and sad. Maybe not sad, he's looking a little alert. We'll see how it goes when we stick his two eyeballs together. Um, you probably have a color one to stick behind this black pupil. I cut it out of glitter cardstock and I don't want to use it, so I'm skipping that part. Um, if you have googly eyes, like the plastic googly eyes, this, that, those would be perfect here instead of having to glue all these together. I would recommend using the googly eyes. I don't have any. I used to have a stash and I don't know where they went. 
I don't know if they're packed or the kids got a hold of them and they're gone. Either way, I have no Google eyes. Okay. Um, foam dotting these would be cute too. Actually, I might do that. glue on there foam dots like I don't want to stay stuck come on there we go I have glue all over my fingers it's leaving little chatters I need an inside eyeball how cute is he Okay, flip them over. I'm going to put his other two eyeballs on and then we'll do the wings. I'm just waiting for my um, paper to dry on, or the glue to dry on my glitter cardstock. I'm giving it a second. And then this way, I'm not bumping little pieces and losing them. Okay. Glitter everywhere. And glue, stain, glue fuzzies. Okay, so now we are ready to do the wings, and you can either tuck those on the outside or the inside. I think I'm going to do mine on the inside, so I'm just going to run it along the edge of that, that section right there, and then hold and press. There's a little bit of that, um, that section peeking out right there, but so I went about that far in just for the strength of it, and then I'm going to try to match it on this side. If you don't want to go that far in, I don't think you have to. I'm just doing it because that's where they ended up and it seems like it's pretty uniform and it looks like it's going to hold it pretty well. I'm going to flip it open and just press. Make sure I got a good, a good secure spot. And then I'll flip this around. I'm just going to lay this guy on here run my glue. I'll do the same thing over here. Whatever it takes to make this process quicker and faster so that you can mass produce. And then close it up while it's lined up. And then hold it down until you're sure you got a pretty good seal. How cute is he? If you wanted to cut some little fangs out, that might be cute. Um, or if you've got a white gel pen, you could draw those on there. My gel pen is hiding somewhere. I'm not sure where that's at. I've got some Copic ink, but I don't have my brushes. There you go. Cute little bat. Um, if you'd cut this part out of purple cardstock, you're going to have purple showing. I might have to cut it again out of purple cardstock. Just because the back of my glitter cardstock was white. Um, and it's not quite, I might either that or have foam dot it right there when I put mine together. But as far as display, I want that to be darker. So I'll probably cut the wings again, either out of black or out of purple to match this so that, um, you don't see that white shadow back there. Super cute. And that is day 11. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you need the bundle, obviously you can grab that in the links below. Um, Thanks for watching and I'll meet you back here for day 12. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.